Desiree. I'm sorry if my air conditioner is loud. I want to share today how I was able to do my gap month. I did it of March of 2024. It is now May, nope, <laughs> it is now June 20th, 2024. So I do have my notebook here to be able to remember what I want to say. But for the most part, it'll be kind of like a back and forth. Also, I may look down to remember all the ways that I was able to save for this gap month and do the gap month in March. So I do want to make note that I was moving. So February, end of February, I was basically moving, but it's still kind of transferred over into March too. But the goal was always March was my gap month. So... I saved two months or three months rent. I think two and a half or two months rent. And I did that not only because I knew I was moving in with my partner and I wanted to just have enough for the gap month and to help out, but also because I was going to be applying for those specific schools I wanted to work at in March. And so therefore, because I would have to get on that payroll and then get a paycheck that would take a little time and so I wanted to be able to have money for March and and April and so that's what I saved up for but also because I was moving I also got my deposit back so that also helped for not only um, adding towards rent but also just if I wanted to like see friends if I wanted to go out while also on this gap month, I had money for myself and I wasn't leaning on my partner, which also we did discuss. So we were talking about my plan from like January and February. And so I was sharing with him like how I was gonna make it work, but why this was very important to me was because like this was a window of opportunity that it was this transition time Plus, I really wanted to see how it would go with me focusing on my writing. And I think it went really well. Um, so also, um, I would like to add that my goals for myself when it came to my writing. So my goals for myself was to write every day and every day as in like a five day work week. But my hours, I said, was the lowest three hours and the highest five or six hours. That did not always happen. Some days was only three hours, and some days were longer, such as Wednesdays. So Wednesday, my boyfriend does D&D, &D, or he did. He's on, like, a gap now, but he did D&D. &D. And so at night, I had more time to write because we, were, we weren't spending time together. We were doing our own thing. But most nights, we wanted to spend time together, watch a show, eat together. And so at night, I would have to weave in writing. But on Wednesdays, it was a definite. And so I had more hours, and I liked that. And so it was about finding a routine. Even though I had made a schedule for myself, it changed. And I was okay with that. I was figuring it out and going with the flow. So it was still important to do something towards my creative journey. So some days, I was writing. Some days I was sending out emails, or not emails, but sending out like submissions to contests because I was thankful my mom sent me the contest that got me into my first exhibit, so that was awesome. Um, I was editing query letters. Um, and then I guess just making a list of what I wanted to do to further connect with my readers and social media so people can know about my books and know about me. And so I was figuring all that out, and I feel like I still am, but at the time I was also just excited to be doing stuff, and I reminded myself that watching a YouTube video that is helping me learn, so for example, I did Bethany Adezade's um, blurb, um, how she talked about like writing her description, her blurb for a book, and I also took that time to learn and practice writing my blurb for my novel. Um, also, K.A. Emmons, Kate and Abby, they were working on covers and talking about that, and I took notes to folk to think about when I was going to work on my cover. So sometimes I reminded myself that learning still counts towards my career and is not 
like oh i didn't write today so i didn't do anything like no if i'm still taking the steps towards um like growing that still counts and so i had to remind myself that um but i think my gap month went really well and so that leads into the difficulties i had so i think a big difficulty for me was that it was only one month <laughs> because when I um, was applying to the jobs and I did I did get a job I currently work at a daycare but transitioning from that back to work I wanted my gap month to be longer I was excited I would have been excited if I did March and April and so I think that balance plus I moved and so it was a lot of overwhelm that I really didn't process or take in as much I was kind of just taking it as I was just tired but no I'm tired because I moved because I'm still looking for another job because I'm doing this writing thing that I'm excited about but also I'm getting used to these new changes that is around me and I didn't really process that at the time I just took it as I was tired I feel like it was the main thing but it was more factors to it that I feel like I didn't realize until May maybe end of April but yeah and then another difficulty I feel like I had was all that I was doing amongst writing or focusing on my author career I was still like catching up with friends or catching up with my partner's family and even seeing my family and um, applying to the job like I said and then having to figure out which job I wanted to choose and I guess it didn't take up a lot of the day but it still adds up and so it felt like I wasn't so Solely, I guess you could say, focusing on my author career like I wanted to. But granted, I was still figuring it out. But that, it felt like a difficulty for me at the time. And so, I guess, a what would I do differently or how would I prepare better? Understanding what I do better in the morning or afternoon and understanding what I do better in the evening and I feel like not until literally like yesterday do I real did I realize that I do better with like editing a video maybe recording a video planning a newsletter um, planning an Instagram post I do better with doing that in the morning or afternoon and at night let me write let me do um query letters let me do something focusing on the book but in the morning or the afternoon it's more about kind of like the marketing the connections and so that's what i'm realizing for myself what else am i realizing to let people know when I am writing or working and also to schedule it in more and be okay if I'm missing something or be okay I'm missing something as in like missing hanging out or missing uh, my boyfriend going out and I just don't go out with him or I don't know just yeah just saying no more like even to phone calls sometimes it's like oh nope I need to write and then in addition to that is also me just kind of understanding the day and to not treat it like a job because the, see that's always the difficulty treat it like my job in the sense of if I can go to work and do a day at work, why can't I treat my writing career as work and do a day of work at, with my writing career? 
Um, and because it's not immediate pay, it's not that every two weeks we get paid at, or at my job, because I know some people it may be once a month, it could be once a week, but every two weeks typically there's a you get paid at a job. And because I'm still growing my writing career, it's not every week, it's not every two weeks, it's not even every month. It's me having to put in the work for in the near future, it's starting to look like a, what's it called? Not a casual income, but a, is it residual? It's a reoccurring, for reoccurring income. So, um, I think that's kind of what puts me off sometimes is because the lack of money up front and I know that is maybe like a sticky subject with some people but to go about in the world and to do future things money is needed and so to talk about my business is also to talk about money um, but I understand where it can get complicated with art and money but I do just want to say <laughs> that um, making money is also a goal, a part of my business. My other goals is to connect with people, to allow my readers to not feel alone, to write complex characters, to talk about upbringing and hardship, um, to just share my book, see it um, in stores, see it in a library, do um, author events. Like, those are my goals, as well as um, to make an income from my books and from my stories and from my writing, because, yes, I write novels, but I also want to write screenplays, and I also have one play in mind. I don't know about a bunch of plays, but I have one play in mind. Um, so, that would be cool. <laughs> to just keep going and see the connections I make and see where I can go. And so that's how I did my gap month. I might have left some things out. You can definitely ask me questions below. Um, you can see previous videos of how like how my gap month went. I, th went. I think I only posted one or two videos. Or maybe two or three, actually. I know I posted two. So two or three video. But that's still something so you can see how my journey went. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget, just write. Write your story.